guys. Okay, so we're back with another video finally. Today it's 18 degrees. I'll show you on my thermometer. 18 degrees. Yeah, I can't believe that. So it's, oh, oh my gosh. Oh. There's also some mud drivers. Anyways, it's really warm today. Cheers. So we're headed down to our property that we own, well, soon to own, um, our house, to see what the deal is and why they're not, uh, why we aren't in there yet, why we're still living in the basement. Um, I just want to show you the awesome day. It's very sunny. You, say you had to deal with this person who um, doesn't have a filter when they talk, but... Uh... Okay, yeah, so that's basically what happened. Um, have you ever had to deal with somebody who does not have a filter? So they basically say whatever they want to say, whenever they want to say it, and it, things can come off really offensive, but they don't care and they don't realize. I don't know if they realize, but they don't care. I don't know. I think they don't care. They don't care, don't realize, don't whatever, and... Um, Obviously, we live in Calgary, and it's it's not as multicultural as say Toronto. Say Toronto, where we're from. Um, you know, in Toronto, there's Eglinton West, there's little, little Jamaica. You know, there's black people, there's there's all races, and there, and it, and there's a lot of races. Here, it's like mostly white, and then there's a sparse amount of races. So, yeah, I'm just dealing with this guy who has no filter and just saying the most inappropriate, racist, stereotypical things. And I'm the type of person where I'm not gonna hold back. You know, I'm, I'm trying, I have a temper, so I'm trying not to get pissed off and be rude, but at the same time, I'm gonna call you out on your your garbage, you know? Well, you're, you're pretty tasteful with it. Like, like you, didn't, you didn't insult him in any way, you just challenged him, like, to think about the words that he was saying and how they affected the people around him. Right. Um, we purchased some furniture lately. We went to the brick and we bought a TV. Yep. A how big is the TV? Uh, 55? 55 inch flat screen smart TV. So we actually watch a lot of vlogs and YouTube and um, Josh passes games. We have Netflix, internet. Uh, you can get it all on the TV. Like there's YouTube on the TV. So if you want to watch YouTube, you can connect it to your subscription and just view all your YouTube and have like your regular page pop up on the TV itself, as well as like control it from like the iPad, iPhone, whatever phone, Android, whatever you hook up. Log that now. Okay. So guys, we're at our house. Ours is the second door there. And so we went into the sales office and what they told us was, that the power, like all the services just got hooked up today. An hour before we got there. An hour before we got there. So she's going to email us with our walk-in date, our walk-through date. So we get to walk through the house and inspect it and look at everything to make sure that we're happy with it. Probably at the end of the week. And then, um, yeah, 30 days from, from that we move in. So it's looking like maybe May 15th we'll move into the house. Which is very exciting. I'll already be in school. Josh will already be in school. Um, but I'm not worried. May is gonna be a very exciting month for us. Um, yeah, it's gonna be exciting. So yeah, I'm happy. She just email us when she gets the walkthrough date for us. And we'll go. We'll have to miss work though, because it's only during the week. Uh, so we'll just go, do the walkthrough. If we're happy, then we set the move in. But yeah, 